Evangelist Naomi Sao Canola, the estranged wife of Uni of Ife, Oba Aya Ogunwasi Ojaja II who announced her divorce with the Oba not too long ago has called on women to learn to say no in marriage when necessary to avoid death. Naomi Sao Canola reason for divorce from the Oba has remained a question begging for an answer. She announced her divorce with the Oba on social media and ever since, she has maintained only her names without her husband name included. Evangelist Naomi Sao Canola who celebrated her 29th birthday on Friday said during the week that women should not wait until death comes, adding, women must say no even if the world can't reason with them. Woman, thou art loosed. Luke 13 12 you have a right to say no. It is your right to be tired. You can put your hands in the air. Cry for help if you have to. Say no even if the world can't reason with you. Because, in the grave they still will not. Don't wait until death comes. In anticipation for a pity party. Death is the end of hope. Are you hoping he would come to love you and respect you, stop mentally, emotionally and physically abusing you? If you die, that's where hope ends. Call for help, nobody is a saint. We are all work in progress. Are you a perfectionist and you want the world to keep seeing the perfect side of you? Stop playing God. Let God be God and man be man. Accept that it can't work, if it won't work. We always know it when it can't. Finally, quit seeking validation. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. Her song ministered to me a lot of times and even now I say EQM. Rest my lady rest, Naomi Sakonola said. It would be recalled that the news of the death of one of the Nigeria finest gospel music stars, Osinachi and Wachuku came as a shock to many last week Friday. Osinachi Nwachuku is suspected to have been killed by her husband, Peter Nwachuku who allegedly hit her on the chest and thereafter died in the hospital. Family and friends of the late gospel singer have said the gospel music icon has been in an abusive marriage, enduring life-threatening beating and other forms of maltreatment from her husband, Peter Nwachuku.